Hello, welcome back to Ease 1 and 2 Chronicles. Last time, we basically did everything before the final dungeon here. Darm Tower. <laughs> so, um, I guess first things first. This is going to be a lot longer than other dungeons have been so far. And by that, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe it's like an hour longer. Like, it's an hour in total for me, usually. Give or take, like, ten minutes, maybe. Depending on how fast I can get for it, usually. So, um... Right now, there's no real reason to fight any enemies aside from because they're in the way. So, I'm mostly going to be ignoring them for now. Unless I absolutely need to. But also, um... I guess do keep in mind, for now, that we're going to be going through here again later on. Like, sooner or later. I don't remember which exact floor it starts on, but there should be... Actually, it's probably this next floor. Yep, here it is. So yeah, we got ourselves trapped. And, uh... Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, it looks like all of our armor and our sword is just completely missing. And yeah, this is why we wanted to get the third set of equipment. Although, for the record... Huh, that's interesting. Oh, never mind, I'm just reading that wrong. For the record, you can't actually get all the equipment from this set in this dungeon if you miss it earlier, but... If you buy it earlier, hey, you got it from the start. Hey, it's Luta. Uh, for the record, Luta does show up regardless of whether you did his side quest or not. I think he just doesn't recognize you if you don't do the side quest, though. But, um, yeah, not a whole lot we can do for now, so, uh... I guess let's just spin in place. Oh, oh that was faster than I was expecting. It's Dogi! Uh, I think he was mentioned by Gobon earlier. Uh, Dogi is, like... Kind of like the deuteragonist of the series, in a way. Although, right now he's just some dude who shows up here. But later on he basically just becomes Adol's bestest buddy in the whole wide world. And yeah, he... See this? He does this a lot. Right, so, um, right now we've got to figure out how we're going to get past that trap. Although the solution's actually pretty simple. Oh, thank you. I, I needed that. Right, so, we're all the way back at the entrance now. So, let's take a little detour here. I don't... There, like, might be something in this path. I don't remember for certain... But I know there's one of the little bits of equipment you could have missed earlier. Like right around. Alright. If we... There we go. Alright, good, good, good. Only one of the treasure chests is... Yeah, fuck it, whatever, why not? Yeah, only one of the treasure chests was opened already. And the others have a mirror, uh, whatever, I don't care. And an evil ring. So what does the evil ring do? Well, <laughs> yeah, why would you wear that, you might be asking. And, um, good question. All right, so now we're on floor three. And let's just put on a mask of eyes real quick. And oh, what's this? 
Hmm. Yeah, I remember Dogi telling me something about an old man eating a statue of some kind. Here he is. Alright, and yeah, that's literally what we needed to get in order to. Oh, hang on. In order to get past that trap, because. Yeah, this is literally the only purpose of Blue Necklace, by the way. It just nullifies that one trap. Yeah, you'll see a lot of items in Dorm Tower, or at least two, from what I remember, that literally just exist to nullify a trap. Uh, I think up here. I forget whether this was like... I want to say this was a shield? It was one of the bits of equipment that we bought earlier though. One of them. Alright, so, on 5 up. And this little passageway over here, uh, don't bother with it unless you missed the equipment earlier. Because one of the pieces of equipment is down here and that is the only reason to go down this path. There is nothing else there, except enemies, I guess, but, I mean, why would you need to fight them? Like, there's nothing for us to spend gold on, even though we keep getting it anyway. And we're at the max level. And there's the trap! So, congratulations, we're already further than we were before. Give me a second, I need to check something real quick. Alright. Just had to make sure of some things, because I couldn't remember uh, which specific floor this was, like what layout it had. But, um, yeah, there is something we want to get here before we go too much farther onward. First things first, let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, and over here, got the silver sword, so that's one piece of equipment reobtained. Pretty fast, too. And we didn't get a whole lot of use out of a Tolvar, did we? And yes, I did figure out um, between parts of that's actually how it's pronounced. I was slightly mispronouncing it because I misread the pronunciation guide. It's just pretty easy to do. And I believe that's everything on this floor. So let's head on to the next one. So, floor 8. I think this is the first big branching path, I guess. Um, if you want, you can go over here and find yourself a silver shield somewhere down this path and then come back down here, but... On this other path... Actually, is there anything over here? No. Just a dead end. But over here... There's a door to a boss. And I'm going to save... Just in case I fuck up this boss. 
Alright, which one is this? Oh yeah, this is a Mantis. Uh, fun fact, by the way, um, obviously most of this game is kind of easy if you play this game on easy mode, but if you play this game on easy mode, this Mantis boss is comically easy. Like, literally, you can just run into him and tank hits forever and just immediately kill him. Without even really thinking about it. He's not too hard on normal either, but... You know, you at least have to put some thought into the fight. And yeah, as you can see, the, the way to beat him is literally just like... Get a couple hits and run away, get a couple hits and run away, get a couple hits and run away. It's pretty simple. So, here's a book of these. Uh, there's three of them in the tower. And you get each of them for beating a boss. And here's a hammer. We're gonna need this soon enough. So, how far... Far... How long have I been going? Let's see... Um, okay, it doesn't say on the save files. Uh, go check OBS. Looks like about 13 minutes. Yeah, I think we can go a little bit more. Just like maybe until the music changes, I don't know. Because the music does change, because as I said earlier, this is a pretty long dungeon. Oh, this is a dead end. Nice. And, yeah, after a while, one music track can get kind of stale. Hang on. Let's equip this before I forget. Okay, when's the... When's music supposed to change again? Ah, uh, give me a second. Oh, oops, that's actually not for another handful of floors. Oh well. That said, let's head on over here real quick, just because well, there's a little something extra over here. A little duder to talk to. I don't know why he's still in here. Oh yeah, because he's bleeding. <laughs> I forgot about that, because I usually end up skipping this guy on accident this time around. Yeah. That's probably going to be in the next part, just because, I don't know, that's kind of usually how I split things up. Hmm. These pillars look a little different than I'm used to. It's interesting. And this is a big-ass place, and a lot of it looks extremely similar to each other. Um, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the look of that. Hmm. Well, how are we gonna get back? How are we going to get past that? Oh, I'm missing a door over there, but wasn't there before. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's Raba.
Hmm. Well, um... That's interesting. How are we going to get past this weird little obstacle? And... How are we going to get Reb out, actually? Hmm. Well... Luckily for you, I already know the answer to this weird little puzzle. So, you remember we got a hammer for beating that, uh, uh, centipede boss? Or whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know bugs super well, I'll be honest. Either way, hammer. Interesting. Wonder if that might have helped us any. Oh, wrong button. And now, you'll notice that this room is actually safe now. Huh. Interesting. And Rob is nowhere to be seen. I'm just gonna assume that he got out of here with all his pieces intact. So, um, let's see, is there any more to this? Uh, there's a little more running. Whatever, I'll, I'll do that and then that'll be the end of this part. So, next time we'll be taking on a kind of... Oh, by the way, this bull era here, there's like no reason for it to be here. It's just a bunch of like empty rooms. But yeah, next time we'll be taking on a... Bit of an annoying part of the Darm Tower, actually. So, um, guess I'll see you all for that. Later, everybody.